maths in today's lecture we are going to learn the next concept in the chapter 4 the concept is multiples of numbers multiples means what or multiples of numbers how to find how to find multiples of numbers that we are going to learn in today's lecture so first of we will first of all we will see what is mean by multiples okay see here you will be given any number any natural number Not natural number means the number starting with 1 1 2 3 counting numbers okay 1 2 3 4 5 10 uncountable so you will be given any number and the question will be find the multiples of the given number for example see here the number is given suppose 4 and we have to find multiples of 4 okay so first we will understand what is mean by multiples okay and after that we will learn how to find the multiples so once we will understand what is mean by multiples it is easy to find now see uh, you know if we multiply 4 with 1 what will happen see 4 multiplied by 1 what is 4 multiplied by 1 4 1s are 4 correct then 4 is multiplied by uh, with the 2 then 4 2s are what 8 correct if 4 is multiplied with the 3 4 3s are 12 similarly 4 if 4 is multiplied with 4 4 4s are 16 correct if 4 is multiplied with 5 4 5s are 20 4 6 are 24 4 7s are 28 ok so similarly if 4 we multiply by any see if these, these numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 these are natural numbers if 4 is multiplied with any natural number then the product which is obtained product which is obtained here these are the multiples of 4 these are the multiples of 4 means what 4 8 12 16 20 24 28 these are the these numbers are the multiples of 4 understood here we have taken the 7 4 7 we can take 4 8s are 4 9s are the uncountable 4 hundreds are 4 500s are any okay one more example i'll show you suppose let us take a uh, question number 12 and if you have uh, we have to find multiples of 12 means what see 12 if you multiply 12 with 1 12 ones are 12 correct what is 12 twos are 12 twos are 24 12 threes are 36 12 fours are 48 12 multiplied by 5 12 fives are 60 12 six are 72 right 12 sevens are 84 and so on okay so these are when 12 is multiplied with 1 or with 2 or 3 means this, with these natural numbers when 12 is multiplied with the natural number then the product which is obtained obtain in here they are called the multiples of 12 these numbers 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, 72, 84 these numbers are called multiples of 12 now by observing these these the multiples which are given here the, these are multiples of 4 and if you see these numbers which are multiple of 12 if you observe this number now we have come to know that these numbers are nothing but they are in the numbers which are in table of 4 see 4 1s are 4, 4 2s are 8, 4 3s are 12, 4 4s are 16, 4 5s are 20, 4 6s are 24, 4 7s are 28 or 12 1s are 12, 12 2s are 24, 12 3s are 36, 12 4s are 48, 12 5s are 60, 12 6s are 72, 12 7s are 84 and so on. So these numbers which we have called them multiples of 12 are the numbers which comes in the table of 12. Understood? So the multiples are nothing but 
the multiples are nothing but the numbers which comes in table of the given number now when table means so you know what is mean by table table in, in table we say na four ones are four that means what four multiplied by one four twos are eight means four multiplied by two eight four threes are means four into three twelve correct so these numbers multiples are the numbers which comes in the table of four understood Another definition of multiple is the numbers, the numbers which are divisible by four. The numbers which are divisible by four. Now, for example, if you see, take this twenty. If you take this twenty and you divide it by four, the twenty is exactly divisible by four. Means if you divide twenty by four, the remainder it leaves zero. See now, four fives are twenty. Correct. Zero minus zero zero two minus two zero. See, remainder is zero. That means twenty is exactly divisible by four. So the multiples are the numbers which are exactly divisible by four. If you take another number, suppose twenty-seven. Is it multiple? Is it multiple of twenty-two? Is twenty-seven multiple of four? If the twenty-seven uh, is not divisible by four, see here, twenty-seven is not divisible by four. Four four eight is a twenty-four, correct? This is the smallest number, smaller number than twenty-seven, which is in table of four. So seven minus four is three. Two minus two zero. So when twenty-seven is divided by four, we get remainder three. That means twenty-seven is not divisible by four, and uh, because of that, twenty-seven is not the multiple of four. Okay. So multiples means what? Two definitions I have told. Multiples means what? The numbers which comes in table of given number or The numbers which are divisible by given number, understood? Any number if you, you can take from this, it will be divisible by four, understood? Similarly, these numbers comes in table of these numbers come in table of twelve as well as they are divisible by twelve. Twelve. So these are the multiples of twelve. Now see here, if you find uh, one question, I have to ask you. If you follow this pattern, twelve sevens are twelve eights are twelve nines are. Can you tell me where this where this pattern will get end, or which will be the last multiple of twelve? First multiple is very easy to easy to find. See twelve multiplied by one. That means twelve one the twelve. Here when we multiply the twelve by one, we get twelve. This is the first multiple of twelve. Twelve is only first multiple of twelve, or four is only first multiple of four. Can you tell me the last multiple of twelve or last multiple of four? Can you tell me? As the natural numbers are uncountable, the number of multiples are also uncountable. The last multiple cannot be told. Understood? The last multiple cannot be told. So the multiples are generally counted in the form of numbers. Means what? First multiple. Ordinal numbers: first multiple, second number multiple, third multiple, fourth multiple. Whenever the question of multiples will be asked, you will be given that yes, find the first five multiples, find the first four multiples, find the sixth multiple, direct sixth multiple, find the hundredth multiple. The particular number will be given to find the multiple. Understood? Because number multiples are uncountable. Okay, multiples of any numbers are uncountable. So whenever you have to find multiples, you will be given specific number. Find fifteenth uh, multiple of twelve. So whenever you have to find fifteenth multiple of twelve, we have to multiply twelve by fifteen. Fourth multiple of twelve. Fourth multiple of twelve. Uh, multiple of twelve means twelve multiplied by four. See, that is forty-eight. Forty-eight is the fourth multiple of twelve. Fifth multiple of twelve is sixty. Twelve multiplied by five. Okay, so whenever we have to find multiple, the number will be given. Which multiple? First multiple, second multiple, hundred multiple, one uh, thousand multiple. Which multiple we have to find? That will be given. Understood? Two things you have to keep in mind here: definition of multiple. Multiples means the numbers which come in table or the numbers which are divisible by given number. They are called multiples of that number. And other thing is that multiples are uncountable. Multiples are uncountable. Every number is multiple of uh, multiple of first multiple of itself. That is four is for first multiple of four. 
12 is first multiple of 12, 5 is first multiple of 5, okay? Every number is first multiple of itself. And the last multiple cannot be 2 because multiples are uncountable. And whenever multiples are we are given to find, they will be given exactly which multiple we have to find, okay? That is 5th multiple, 6th multiple, likewise. So these things you have to keep it in mind while finding multiples. So let's solve the practice 4.1 which is based on these multiples. Till that, pause this video and write this in your notebook. This uh, writing in your notebook, so here write multiples of 4. R 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24 and so on. So on means right here dot 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 means to be continued. Okay. Similarly, so multiples of 12 are twelve, two are twenty-four, three are thirty-six, four are forty-eight, and so on. Okay, so write this in your notebook. Uh, after this, we will solve the practice 4.1. Let's solve the practice 4.1. Okay, just now we have seen the concept of multiples and the practice 4.1 is, uh, is based on that concept. So, the questions in the practice 4.1 we are going to solve now. See, question 1 write the next 4 multiples. Write the next four multiples of the following. Now see here the question 1 A 6, 12, 18, 24, 30. So these are the multiples of 6. See, 6 1 the 6, 6 2 the 12, 6 3 the 18, 6 4 the 24, 6 5 the 30. Okay. So in this pattern or in this series, we have to find next four multiples. So now see, if this is still 5 the 6 5 the 30. Okay. Means what is 6? 6 the so see here they have been asked next 4 multiples. So next 4 means they should come in sequence. This is still 6, 5 za. So there must be 6, 6 za, 6, 7 za, 6, 8 za and 6, 9 za. Okay. You should not miss any number. It, they should be in sequence. As it is 6, 5 za, 30. So 6, 6 za it will be 36. Then 6, 7 za it will be 40. 2. Then 6 8s are 48. And then there will be uh, the next multiple will be 6 9s are. 6 9s are is 54. So as they have asked next 4 multiples, so we have found the same. Okay? If the next 5 or next 6 will be there, then 2 more we need to find. Whatever question will be asked, as I said you, they will give specific multiple. Which multiple exactly you have to find? They will give because multiples are uncountable. Okay, let's find next 8. This is the table of 8. If you observe 8 1 is 8, 8 2 is 16, 8 3 is 24, 8 4 is 32, 8 5 is 40. So in this series, next multiple will be 8 6 is 8 6 is 48. Then 8 7 is 56. 8 8 is 64. 8 9 is 72. These are the next 4 multiples in this series. Here 11 1 is 11, 11 2 is 22, 11 3 is 33, 11 4 is 44, 11 5 is 55. In this series, these are the multiples of 11, okay? So 11 6 is 66, 11 7 is 77, 11 8 is 88, and 11 9 is 99, okay? So this way we have to find next 4 multiples of the uh, given series. See question number 2. Write first five multiples of the following. Write first five multiples of the following. Here some numbers are given 12, 17, and 13. So we have to find first five multiples of 12, first five multiples of 17, first five multiples of 13. Here the phrase first five is very important. First five multiples. See here, first five is First 5 multiples of 12 means 12 into 1, 12 into 2, 12 into 3, that is 12 ones are, 12 twos are, 12 threes are, 12 fours are, and 12 fives are. Okay? 
Those 12, this is the example they have given. So while writing multiples of first five multiples of 12, you have, you have to start with the 12 ones are. Okay. So what is 12 ones are? 12 ones are 12, 12 twos are 24, 12 threes are 36, 12 fours are 48, 12 fives are 16. So these are the first five multiples. Some students here, how they commit the mistake? See. They think that yes, 12 is given here, so that not need to write. They can write directly 24, 36, 48, 60, and then 72. This is not the proper sequence. As they have asked, first 5 multiples, so you start with the first multiple. 12 ones are 12, 12 ones are 24, 12 these are 36, and so on. Understood? Then first 5 multiples of 17. 17 ones are 17, 72 are 34, 73 are 52. So 51, 68, and 85. 71 is 17, 72 is 34, 73 is 51, 68, and 85. Okay, so these are the first 5 multiples of 70. Then 30, 31 is 13, 26, 39, 52, and 65. So these are the First 5 multiples of 13. Remember, don't forget to write the first multiple. Don't write I in second, okay? See the question number 3. Write the multiples of 13 that are greater than 50 but less than 100. So here in this question, we have to write multiples of 13. But which multiples of 13? Which are greater than 50 and less than 100. As you know that, the number of multiples are uncountable. Multiples of every numbers are uncountable. So here they have specified it. We have to write the multiples of 13 which are greater than 50 and less than 100. Okay. So you know, 50 are, sorry, 13 threes are 39. 39 is less than 50. 13 fours are, what is 13 fours are? 52. Then there is 52 is greater than 50. See, 52 is greater than 50. So start with the 52. 13 plus the 65. And there is 78. 91. And then 13. Uh, 13. 8 is 104. Which is greater than 100. So we will not take that. We, these are the, these 4 multiples of 13 are between 50 and 100. Greater than 50 and less than 100. Okay. Let's solve the question number 4. List the multiples of 15 that are greater than 60. Greater than 60 but less than 150. So let's see. 15 for the 60. But we, we don't have to take 60. We want multiples of 15 which are greater than 60. More than 60. So 15 finds are 75. Then there is 90. Then 15, 6 are 90. 15, 7 is 105. 15 8s are 120, 15 9s are 135, and 15 10s are 150. But 150, we don't want 150, we want, we want multiples of 15 which are less than 150. So the multiples of 15 which are greater than 60 and less than 150 are 75, 90, 105, 120, and 135. Understood? So in this way, we have to solve the examples of multiple, uh, multiples or the questions like these will be asked about multiples. Let's solve the next question. Now pause this video, write this in your notebook. After this, you will solve the last question. See the question number 5. Say true or false for each of the following. The statements are given. We have to uh, check, check them and we have to say true or false. Whether the given statement is true or false. Okay. See the first statement. 78, 78 is multiple of 12. 78 is multiple of 12. So whether it is true or false, that we have to find out and we have to uh, write true or false. Okay. Now see, the statement is 78 is multiple of 12. Is 78 multiple of 12? How to know or how to find that? As I have told you the definition of multiples. What is definition of multiple? The multiples are the numbers which are exactly divisible by P1 number. Now, if, if, I am saying if 78 may be the multiple of 12, then it will be exactly divisible by 
12 78 will be the exactly divisible by 12 so first we need to divide 78 by 12 and if in that process we are getting remainder 0 that means 78 will be exactly divisible by 12 and if it is exactly divisible by 12 then it will be the multiple of 12 so the given statement will be true if you are getting remainder other than 0 then the given statement is false okay so uh, here we have to check whether 78 is multiple of 12 or not and how to uh, uh, how to check it we need to divide 78 by 12 so let's divide 12 12 uh, 5 are 60, 12 6 are 72. Correct? 12 6 are 72. That means 78 is not there in table of 12. The smaller number than 78 in table of 12 is 72. 12 6 are 72. So 8 minus 2, 6 and 7 minus 7, 0. So in this process, when we divided 78 by 12, we are getting remainder 6. That means what? 78 is not divisible by 12 so as it is not divisible by 12 since it is not divisible by 12 it is not the multiple of 12 so the given statement is true or false false so it is false it is false okay second see 133 is multiple of 13 is it true or false How to change? Divide one thirty three by thirty. See thirteen one the thirteen. Three minus three zero one minus one zero. Let's bring three down. You have to divide three by thirteen. As three is smaller than thirteen, so zero is thirteen zero is zero. So in this process also we are getting remainder other than zero. We are getting remainder three. That means one thirty three is not divisible by thirteen. And since it is not divisible by thirteen. It is not multiple of thirteen, so the given statement is also false. Let's check for one twenty five is multiple of fifteen. Is it correct or false? Let's do find out. So see uh, if you say the table of fifteen, fifteen eights are one twenty. This is the smaller number than one twenty five. One twenty five is not there in the table of fifteen. So you have five zero zero. Here also in this division we are getting remainder five. That means one twenty five is not divisible by fifteen. And since it is not divisible by fifteen, it is not the multiple of fifteen. One twenty five is multiple of fifteen. The statement is given, and it is false. So this statement is also. Pause. Understood. Uh, so first A, B, and C. Three examples we have solved. Uh, in this question, question number five, there are three more examples which you have to solve by yourself. Okay. So this much for today. Uh, if you, ha you have any problem regarding this, you can ask. Till that, thank you and have a nice day.